Hello one and all, my name is Evan, otherwise known as Manly Ankles, and welcome to a special video from Manly Voices. Um, this is the first time you guys are seeing my face, so hello. Um, excuse my messy apartment. So, in this episode, I will be reciting a monologue from the Tectonic Theatre Company's The Laramie Project. Um, if you don't know what this play is about, it's a great read. It's about uh, the hate crime incidents that happened in 1998 uh, where a gay college student was murdered brutally uh, gets gets pretty real uh, and this particular monologue is by Matthew Shepard's father the victim and he's addressing Aaron McKinney the guilty party and this this particular monologue actually made uh, it's an excerpt from the court transcripts and stuff according to my teacher. So, here we go. My son Matthew did not look like a winner. He was rather uncoordinated, and wore braces from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all-too-brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6th, 1998, my son tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero lost. On October 12th, 1998, my firstborn son and my hero died, 50 days before his 22nd birthday. I kept wondering the same thing that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself. But he wasn't alone. There were his lifelong friends with him. Friends that he had grown up with. You're probably wondering who those friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we used to see through a telescope. Then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of pine trees from the snowy range. He heard the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him, he had God, and I feel better knowing he wasn't alone. Matt's beating hospitalization and funeral sorry, Matt's beating hospitalization and funeral focused worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said enough is enough. I miss my son, but I am proud to be able to say that he is my son. Judy has been quoted as being against the death penalty. It has been stated that Matt was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process. To show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. Mr. McKinney, I am going to grant you life as hard as it is for me to do so, because of Matthew. Every time you celebrate Christmas, a birthday, the 4th of July... Remember that Matt isn't. Every time you wake up in your prison cell, remember that you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You robbed me of something very precious, and I will never forgive you for that. Mr. McKinney, I give you life in the memory of one who no longer lives. May you have a long life, and may you thank Matthew every day for it. So that's the monologue. Um, this is actually for a class I'm doing. I have to have this whole thing memorized next week, and I have to perform it for my final. Uh, so I hope that goes well. I'll probably listen to this a lot. But anyway, this is something a little different. This is another example of the kind of things I can post on Manly Voices. And if you have any suggestions for me or any criticisms as I'm building my YouTube channel, feel free to let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.